Hi everyone, Taro vitrectomy complete closure of all retinal breaks and the releasing of all vitreoretinal retinal tractions are the guidelines for a successful retinal detachment surgery. This is the case of a fresh retinal detachment in a 59-year-old man who presents two retinal tears, one of which is very large. The surgery begins with a routine phacoemulsification with IOL implantation in the bag. We proceed then with a colon peripheral vitrectomy. Triamcinolon acetonide assisted vitrectomy is always helpful for recognizing the remaining vitreous islands. Fluid against fluid exchange across the breaks allows the surgeon to settle back partially the detached retina. Vitreous base excision in 360 degrees followed by anterior hyaloid dissection are, for my part, the most critical steps of this surgery. These procedures are very time-consuming, but they significantly increase, in my opinion, the success rate of retinal detachment surgery. In this case, as you can see, peripheral retina shows multiple lattices degenerations, and it is always very difficult in this case to remove all adherent vitreous layers. All retinal dehiscences and all lattices are then marked, Afterwards, they are all laser barricaded and a 360 degree laser retinopexy is justified in this case. A long-acting gas tamponade would be sufficient in this case, but this patient has severe problems of cervical and vertebral osteoarthritis, so 1000 centistock silicon oil is inserted in the vitreous cavity in an air-filled eye. Under silicon oil, a micro tear is laser treated also. These are releasable sutures, and this is the conclusion of the surgery. This is the OCT 15 days after this procedure. Retina is fully reattached, and vision went from count fingers to 20 over 100. Finally, we apply recipes which are always the same and which make it possible to cure all our patients in the immense majority of cases with a single intervention. Many thanks for your kind attention.